Emmanuel Oludaisi Adekunle is a child of destiny who was born into the family of Pa Ruben Obasheson and Mrs. Abigail Olufumilayo Adekunle of Ikabo Township in Eba Alaki Abeokuta. At the age of three, he lost his mother and raising him became the sole responsibility of his father alongside his brother, Mr. Victor Abidemi Adekunle. Since his childhood days, Oludaisi was fondly called pastor due to his comportment, gentility and humility. Residence within him also was the grace of leadership which he displayed from childhood until now. And from day one, he has always been behaved as a leader to all of us. He will counsel us and give you advice. And um, well, then it seems he's more experienced than all of us. So we all look forward to him at that time. Being a son of a disciplined and God fearing teacher, Oludaisi was well mannered cultured and disciplined. He had the opportunity of living and growing up in Abekuta, but sprawling round some of its sections where this afforded him the privilege to acculturate and adapt to any situation that confronted him. He was very committed to the service of God during his early age that he served as chorister in various Anglican churches most especially the Cathedral of St. Peter Aki. Bishop Oludaisi Adekule is a man endowed with history at his fingertips. At times, one wonders how he knows so many histories of the church, both locally and internationally. It surely must be traced to the fact that he cultivated the habit of sitting with elders of various backgrounds who exposes him to in-depth knowledge of Eba and her people. Emmanuel is a typical Eba man. He knows the nooks and crannies of the area. It is part of the training given to us that we have to live with elders, move with elders, get experience with elders. That is when we too can be experienced. And that is the life of our father, Pa Rupe Obasheson, particularly. Among other virtues led by Oludaisi by interacting with elders is his ability to interact with people of different classes and ages. When God calls a man, he must obey, else there will be consequences. This is the story of Emmanuel Oludaisi Adekunle. He was a trained civil engineer who was gainfully working in the service of Ogun State Ministry of Works and Transport before answering the call of God to the ordained ministry. By this call, he had to forfeit the civil service with his juicy renovations and emoluments and went for seminary training at Emmanuel College of Theology and Christian Education, Samunda Ibadan, in 1990. While at Emmanuel College, he distinguished himself so much that he was elected as the president of Evangelical Fellowship in Emmanuel College of Theology, Ibadan, EFICT in 1991 to 1992. 
right from the very first day, I knew him as a child. Um, so referring to him as the child of God, not the child of God born again that we talk today, we are witch, wizards, and even liars, and the host of them who claim to be born again, and of course, as they have nothing to show for the Christ like life that is supposed to be seen in the life of such individual. Uh, I knew him as a Christian. Now, coming back from the youth, I found myself at Emmanuel College. Uh, it was when I got there that I knew some Christians, some children of God also have been free, that they will need some members of staff who will be children of God, uh, who also can be encouragers to them like Barnabas. And uh, by the special grace of God, the moment we got there, we met such a wonderful fellowship on ground. And naturally, we blended with them. I saw him as an individual committed to the present cause. His simplicity and exemplary leadership traits also attracted his friendship with many ministers of God, among whom are Bishop B.F.R. Ogumbangu, Bishop Praise Omoliako, Bishop Jacob Kwashi, Bishop Oluwashi Uyelade. Bishop Folusho Babatuchi of Methodist Church, Bishop Abayomi Adekite, and Bishop Bamidele Ibikole, just to mention a few. On June 28, 1992, Oluda Isi was made a deacon in Reverend Diocese by the Right Reverend Elijah Oluremi Ike Omodano, who later ordained him a priest the following year. June 27, 1993. Reverend Oluda Isi Adegbade is a lover of knowledge and education, and this tribe made it to go to the University of Ibadan in Ibadan to have a postgraduate diploma in education and master's degree in counseling psychology between 1996 and 1998. As a devoted man of God, Updating himself to be versatile and relevant in all areas was core. Therefore, he took time out to learn about the use of computer in the early 90s. This opportunity did not only distinguish him as well as giving him an edge over his contemporary, but it also helped him to impact others as he became a tutor to many others. The qualities of a leader were discovered in him early in his ministry by Baba Ukudano, who made him the administrative assistant to the bishop alongside the synod secretary, when he was just a canon in the church. This inherent leadership acumen, coupled with his fervent spirituality, made him the best candidate for the seat of the provost of the first church in Nigeria, Cathedral Church of St. Peter. Abeokuta when it was vacant. He was diligent and loyal in his service to both the leadership of the church as a provost and the enduring secretariat of the church as the general secretary. That when the seat of the bishop of Iba was going to be vacant in 2009, he was elected the bishop. Olu Daisi, the choir boy, the provost, and now the bishop. What? a journey.